Goda forever! You can't handle the truth! What a gift, don't you think? From Mr. Wallace to the world. Well, it's nice to see you too. We'll be one. We meet again at last. Hello, I'm Tyler Smith, and this is Rediscover Movies. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to be talking about Kenneth Branagh's Death on the Nile, uh, which is an adaptation of the Agatha Christie uh, novel, the wonderful whodunit featuring the brilliant detective Hercule Poirot, uh, played by Kenneth Branagh himself. The film is, I wouldn't say a sequel uh, to Kenneth Branagh's uh, Murder on the Orient Express, but it is a follow-up. Uh, the, na the, the episodic nature of Agatha Christie's novels, just each one was its own little whodunit. Uh, and so even though Murder on the Orient Express does hint at what the next movie will be, th there's no real continuity. It's just a different case. Um, so I am a big fan of whodunits, uh, going as far back as, you know, various Dashiell Hammett novels and, and Raymond Chandler and Agatha Christie. Uh, and, uh, and they really make for great movies because you can have uh, a potentially star-studded cast with like really often two-dimensional characters, but you get a real sense of who they are. Um, and at the core of it, you have a, a brilliant detective who gathers all the evidence and analyzes it in a way that you never saw coming. Uh, and then presents you with the with the solution, and you think, oh, that's so exciting, and uh, this definitely is that. Uh, I was a little bit iffy about it. I liked the previous mur Murder on the Orient Express, but not as much as the, the 1974 Sidney Lumet version featuring Albert Finney. I think that, to me, is like one of the gold standards of the film whodunit. But I didn't mind Kenneth Branagh's version of it. Uh, I think this is I think this is better than that. I think this is a really fascinating movie that takes the genre seriously. One thing about whodunits is there's a tendency to really simplify the characters and treat the whole thing as just oh it's so much fun to such an extent that when somebody does get killed and often when two or three people get killed. Uh, it doesn't really mean much. It doesn't resonate with you uh, as a viewer. I know it rarely resonates with me because it just feels like, well, someone died. Who cares? Uh, it, it's necessary to start the, the story in motion. Here, though, Kenneth Branagh, he does. There is a sense of fun to everything, especially visually, because we're on this beautiful cruise going down the Nile with filled with very rich people who are dressed beautifully. It's a gorgeous looking film. Uh, so there is a sense of fun to it, but there's a, a an underlying uh, theme to the film, which is what people will do for love and how important love is in your life and how it can transform you as a person. Um, but that if you look if you look at it the wrong way, you can actually wind up hurting somebody else in the name of love. Uh, and so the film really is is using its story to sort of pontificate on some themes that you wouldn't necessarily associate with the who done it. Uh, and as such, every murder that takes place is treated very seriously. You really get a sense of who these characters are and when they are killed, you feel bad, you you are upset, and you want the murderer to be caught, and you want Poirot to to figure it all out, you want justice to be served. And that is definitely something that is rare, both in whodunit books, but also in film. And I think it's really something that Kenneth Branagh uh, has managed to, to pull that off. Um, as a performer, Kenneth Branagh's uh, version of Poirot is a lot of fun, but I think he really imbues the character with uh, depth. And the character of Hercule Poirot is kind of cartoonish. Uh, he's got this ridiculous mustache. Um, he speaks with this sort of exaggerated uh, Belgian accent. And some of my favorite performances really play into the silliness of the character, which is meant to sort of hide the brilliance uh, of the character. Uh, 
And I think that Brenna manages to uh, incorporate all of these things that we associate with the character, um, but really does uh, make him feel like a real person uh, that you could encounter. And that's that's pretty rare. Um, the rest of the cast is really great. Uh, you got, you've got like Russell Brand and Gal Gadot. Um, but I think the one that really stands out to me is, uh, Sophie Okonedo, who is an actor, uh, an actress that has been, uh, really reliable. I think I first became familiar with her in 2004, uh, in, um, Hotel Rwanda, for which I think she was nominated for an Oscar. Uh, here she plays a blues singer who is, very wise to how the world works and has a certain cynicism uh, to her, but there's still a wry quality. Uh, and she has some nice back and forth with uh, Poirot. And uh, those are probably my favorite scenes in the film. But um, yeah, it's the film's uh, in theaters now. I highly recommend it. I really enjoyed it. I could see it being maybe a little bit slow for people at first. Uh, as it is introducing the situation as it's introducing the characters. Um, some people might want to just like, let's just get on the ship and get to the murder. Uh, but I think trying to really understand who these people are is a big part of why the movie works at all and why you feel the weight of the murders. So that didn't really bother me, but I could see it bothering some people. Uh, and if you're in the mood for uh, whodunits, uh, we have a really wonderful film called And Then There Were None, which is also based on an Agatha Christie novel, uh, and it features uh, Walter Houston and Barry Fitzgerald and a really great cast, uh, and it's a lot of fun, and it's a situation where this group of people goes to a mansion and then they just start dying one at a time, and nobody knows who's doing it. But here you don't have a brilliant detective to solve everything. Uh, the characters themselves need to solve it before they are themselves killed. So uh, I highly recommend it. It's available right right here on uh, Rediscover Television. So thank you so much for watching. I'll get you next time. Bye.